Hello and welcome to Fairy Class. Today we're going to be making toadstools. We're going to be using lots of rubbish and making something pretty. These sweet toadstools can be used to decorate a miniature fairy set or to decorate your own home. You can go wild making them any shape or size you like. Add extra touches like glitter, beads, artificial flowers and grass. Remember that you don't have to have everything I used. You might find something else that works just as well. Make them your own. Here's one of my fairies having a rest next to the toadstool. You will need a cardboard tube or some cardboard, something to make the dome shape on the top of the toadstool. I'm using an old pie tin, a hot glue gun and glue sticks. Your choice of fabric, I'm using red and then some whites for the stalk of the mushroom. I'm also using a lace trim that's got a scalloped edge to go around the middle, scissors for cutting the fabric and a wooden base for the toadstool to stand up on. You could use cardboard for this as well. First off, glue the cardboard tube to the base to make the sculpture sturdy. You can then bend slightly and twist the stem so it looks a bit wild and wonky. I've popped the cap on so I can see how it will look. Then I'm wrapping a strip of repurposed white material around the stem. I've glued it at the bottom so it stays in place and I'm overlapping as I twirl it around so it's a bit rugged and there's no obvious seam. Next, it's time to add the material to the cap. I've cut a circle out of the fabric and I'm gluing it to the bottom of the cap. As I soon realised when filming this, it's much easier to do this when the cap is not attached to the stem. We need to add white fabric to the inside of the toadstool cap, so I'm gluing that to just where the red folds over. Then glue the stem to the cap. Because the pie tin I used is flexible, I can now adjust the cap shape if I need to and the lace trim makes the toadstool skirt. I glue this so that it ruffles. To finish mine off, I have some fake moss that I've cut into a circle just a bit bigger than the base of my toadstool. Then I've put a hole in the middle for the stem to slot into, like a skirt. I'm gluing the moss where it meets. Some fake leaves or flowers would look good here too. Then I'm adding spots to the cap. I'm just blobbing dots of hot glue here, but you could use beads or paint instead. I've added glitter to the dots too to make them sparkle. And there you have it, a toadstool fit for a fairy. Hope you enjoyed today's video making a fairy toadstool. Fairy wishes! Hi!